Murgar, Balochi, Murgar, Urdu, Winking Face, is a Neolithic site dated to 7000 BCE, which lies on the Khaki Plain of Balochistan, Pakistan. Murgar is located near the Bolan Pass, to the west of the Indus River Valley and between the present-day Pakistani cities of Quetta, Kalat and Sibi. The site was discovered in 1974 by an archaeological team directed by French archaeologists Jean-François Jarrig and Catherine Jarrig, and was excavated continuously between 1974 and 1986, and again from 1997 to 2000. Archaeological material has been found in six mounds, and about 32,000 artifacts have been collected. The earliest settlement at Murgar, in the northeast corner of the 495-acre square kilometers site, was a small farming village dated between 7000 BCE and 5500 BCE. Murgar is now seen as a precursor to the Indus Valley civilization, displaying the whole sequence from earliest settlement and the start of agriculture, to the mature Harappan civilization. Topic. History Murgar is one of the earliest sites with evidence of farming and herding in South Asia. Murgar was influenced by the Near East and Neolithic, with similarities between domesticated wheat varieties, early phases of farming, pottery, other archaeological artifacts, some domesticated plants and herd animals. According to Parpola, the culture migrated into the Indus Valley and became the Indus Valley civilization. Jean Francois Jarig argues for an independent origin of Murgar. Jarig notes, The assumption that farming economy was introduced full fledged from Near East to South Asia, and the similarities between Neolithic sites from eastern Mesopotamia and the western Indus Valley, which are evidence of a cultural continuum between those sites. But given the originality of Murgar, Jarig concludes that Murgar has an earlier local background and is not a backwater of the Neolithic culture of the Near East. Lukacs and Hemp Hill suggest an initial local development of Murgar, with a continuity in cultural development but a change in population. According to Lukacs and Hemp Hill, while there is a strong continuity between the Neolithic and Chalcolithic Copper Age cultures of Murgar, dental evidence shows that the Chalcolithic population did not descend from the Neolithic population of Murgar, which suggests moderate levels of gene flow. They wrote that the direct lineal descendants of the Neolithic inhabitants of Murgar are to be found to the south and the east of Murgar, in northwestern India and the western edge of the Deccan Plateau. With Neolithic Murgar showing greater affinity with Chalocolithic Inamgaon, south of Murgar, than with Chalcolithic Murgar, Gallego Romero et al. 2011 state that their research on lactose tolerance in India suggests that. The West Eurasian genetic contribution identified by Reich et al. 2009 principally reflects gene flow from Iran and the Middle East. Gallego Romero notes that Indians who are lactose tolerant show a genetic pattern regarding this tolerance which is characteristic of the common European mutation. According to Romero, this suggests that the most common lactose tolerance mutation made a two-way migration out of the Middle East less than 10,000 years ago. While the mutation spread across Europe, another explorer must have brought the mutation eastward to India, likely traveling along the coast of the Persian Gulf where other pockets of the same mutation have been found. They further note that t the earliest evidence of cattle herding in South Asia comes from the Indus River Valley site of Murgar and is dated to 7000 YBP. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Periods of occupation. Archaeologists divide the occupation at the site into 8 periods. Topic: Murgar period I, 7000 BCE to 5500 BCE. The Murgar period I, 7000 BCE to 5500 BCE, was Neolithic and Assyriac, without the use of pottery. 
The earliest farming in the area was developed by semi-nomadic people using plants such as wheat and barley and animals such as sheep, goats and cattle. The settlement was established with simple mud buildings and most of them had four internal subdivisions. Numerous burials have been found, many with elaborate goods such as baskets, stone and bone tools, beads, bangles, pendants and occasionally animal sacrifices, with more goods left with burials of males. Ornaments of seashell, limestone, turquoise, lapis lazuli and sandstone have been found, along with simple figurines of women and animals. Seashells from far seashore and lapis lazuli found as far away as present-day Badakhshan, Afghanistan shows good contact with those areas. A single ground stone axe was discovered in a burial, and several more were obtained from the surface. These ground stone axes are the earliest to come from a stratified context in South Asia. Periods I, II and III are contemporaneous with another site called Kili Gul Muhammad. The Aceramic Neolithic phase in the region is now called Kili Gul Muhammad phase, and it is dated 7000-5000 BC. Yet the Kili Gul Muhammad site, itself, may have started c. 5500 BC in 2001. Archaeologists studying the remains of two men from Murgar made the discovery that the people of the Indus Valley civilization had knowledge of proto dentistry from the early Harappan periods. In April 2006, it was announced in the scientific journal Nature that the oldest and first early Neolithic evidence for the drilling of human teeth in vivo, i.e. in a living person, was found in Murgar. According to the authors, their discoveries point to a tradition of proto-dentistry in the early farming cultures of that region. Here we describe 11 drilled molar crowns from nine adults discovered in a Neolithic graveyard in Pakistan that dates from 7,500 to 9,000 years ago. These findings provide evidence for a long tradition of a type of proto-dentistry in an early farming culture. <laughs> Murgar period 2 5500 BCE to 4800 BCE and period 3 4800 BCE to 3500 BCE The Murgar period 2 5500 BCE to 4800 BCE and Murgar period 3 4800 BCE to 3500 BCE were ceramic Neolithic using pottery and later Chalcolithic. Period 2 is at site MR4 and period 3 is at MR2. Much evidence of manufacturing activity has been found and more advanced techniques were used. Glazed faience beads were produced and terracotta figurines became more detailed. Figurines of females were decorated with paint and had diverse hairstyles and ornaments. Two flex burials were found in period 2 with a red ochre cover on the body. The amount of burial goods decreased over time, becoming limited to ornaments and with more goods left with burials of females. The first button seals were produced from terracotta and bone and had geometric designs. Technologies included stone and copper drills, updraft kilns, large pit kilns and copper melting crucibles. There is further evidence of long-distance trade in period too, important as an indication of this is the discovery of several beads of lapis lazuli, once again from Badakhshan. Murgar periods 2 and 3 are also contemporaneous with an expansion of the settled populations of the borderlands at the western edge of South Asia, including the establishment of settlements like Rana Gundai, Sheri Khan Tarakai, Sarai Kala, Jalilpur and Galagai. Murgar periods IV, V and VI BCE to 3000 BCE. Period IV was 3500 to 3250 BCE. Period V from 3250 to 3000 BCE and period VI was around 3000 BCE. The site containing periods IV to VII is designated as MR1. Topic. Murgar period 7 2600 BCE to 2000 BCE 
Somewhere between 2600 BCE and 2000 BCE, the city seems to have been largely abandoned in favor of the larger and fortified town Naosharo five miles away when the Indus Valley civilization was in its middle stages of development. Historian Michael Wood suggests this took place around 2500 BCE. Topic: Murgar period 8. The last period is found at the Sibri Cemetery, about 8 kilometers from Murgar. Topic: Lifestyle and technology. Early Murgar residents lived in mud brick houses, stored their grain in granaries, fashioned tools with local copper ore, and lined their large basket containers with bitumen. They cultivated six row barley, einkorn and emma wheat, jujubes and dates, and herded sheep, goats and cattle. Residents of the later period 5500 BCE to 2600 BCE put much effort into crafts, including flint napping, tanning, bead production, and metal working. Murgar is probably the earliest known center of agriculture in South Asia. The oldest known example of the lost wax technique comes from a 6,000-year-old wheel-shaped copper amulet found at Murgar. The amulet was made from unalloyed copper, an unusual innovation that was later abandoned. Topic: Artifacts. Topic: Human figurines. The oldest ceramic figurines in South Asia were found at Murgar. They occur in all phases of the settlement and were prevalent even before pottery appears. The earliest figurines are quite simple and do not show intricate features. However, they grow in sophistication with time and by 4000 BC begin to show their characteristic hairstyles and typical prominent breasts. All the figurines up to this period were female. Male figurines appear only from period 7 and gradually become more numerous. Many of the female figurines are holding babies, and were interpreted as depictions of the mother goddess. However, due to some difficulties in conclusively identifying these figurines with the mother goddess, some scholars prefer using the term female figurines with likely cultic significance. Topic. Pottery Evidence of pottery begins from period 2. In period 3, the finds become much more abundant as the potter's wheel is introduced, and they show more intricate designs and also animal motifs. The characteristic female figurines appear beginning in period IV and the finds show more intricate designs and sophistication. Pipple leaf designs are used in decoration from period VI. Some sophisticated firing techniques were used from period VI and VII and an area reserved for the pottery industry has been found at Mound MR1. However, by period VIII, the quality and intricacy of designs seem to have suffered due to mass production, and due to a growing interest in bronze and copper vessels. Burials <inaudible> 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 There are two types of burials in the Murgar site. There were individual burials where a single individual was enclosed in narrow mud walls and collective burials with thin mud brick walls within which skeletons of six different individuals were discovered. The bodies in the collective burials were kept in a flexed position and were laid east to west. Child bones were found in large jars or urn burials 4000 BCE. Topic. Metallurgy Metal finds have dated as early as period IIB, with a few copper items. Topic. Archaeological significance Murgar is now seen as a precursor to the Indus Valley Civilization. 
According to Ahmed Hassan Dani, Professor Emeritus of Archaeology at Quaidi Azam University in Islamabad, discoveries at Mergar changed the entire concept of the Indus civilization. There we have the whole sequence, right from the beginning of settled village life. Topic. See also Indus Valley Civilization and the list of Indus Valley Civilization sites List of inventions and discoveries of the Indus Valley Civilization Hydraulic engineering of the Indus Valley Civilization Birana Mundigak — Archaeological site in Kandahar Province Hada — Archaeological site in Nangaha Province Sirk Katal — Archaeological site in Baklan Province Emes Inak — Archaeological site in Loga Province Sheri Khan Tarakai — Archaeological site in Banu Mahenjo Daro — Archaeological site in Sindh Harappa — Archaeological site in Punjab Bolan Pass Naosharo Pirak Chanadaro Quetta List of Stone Age art Notes <laughs> <laughs>